there's no substitute for real gaming fun. Go where fun lives. <laughs> Old Chung Gaming Wittenberg. <laughs> As a nurse, your capacity to give is superhuman until it's not. These days, nearly every nurse is exhausted. You deserve an employer who shares your passion for keeping people healthy, including you. Join Peter Christensen Health Center today. Work fewer hours. Enjoy regular schedules. Rebalance your life with your passion. Your loved ones will thank you. Your new health care team will appreciate you. And your new patients will be grateful for you. Quit the chaos. Be your best self. Join us today. As a prosecutor for 25 years and now as a judge, I know what it takes to keep Wisconsin communities safe. I'm Judge Janet Protasiewicz. On the Supreme Court, we need more common sense and less extremism. It's time for a change. Straight ahead, Governor Tony Evers is announcing his 2023-2025 budget. We'll have a look at some of his proposals. Plus, Milwaukee is cracking down on crime. We'll explain the operation to arrest more than 100 fugitives. And we're hearing from one of the judges in the race for Supreme Court. We'll have the details as your local news starts right now. News Watch 12 with Jessica Jukic and Jeff Weller. Good evening and welcome to News Watch 12 at 5. I'm Jessica Jukic. Police have arrested a man in Wausau following a complaint of shots being fired downtown. Police were dispatched to the residence on 700 block of Forest Street just after 8.30 this morning. A caller reported that 43-year-old Brian Penny was intoxicated and had fired a gun inside the home. With the assistance of Marathon County Dispatch, telephone contacted contact was established with Penny. Penny exited the home and was arrested by officers without incident. Penny's facing several charges, including second degree recklessly endangering safety, being armed while intoxicated, and being a felon in possession of a firearm. No one was injured in this incident. Penny's expected to make his first court appearance tomorrow in Marathon County Circuit Court. Governor Tony Evers will be releasing his full 2023-2025 executive budget to the legislature tonight. Evers has slowly been giving out a few proposals for a spending plan in the lead up to the budget's full release that would bring large change to the state. Included in his budget will be a 10% tax cut for couples earning up to $150,000. $100 million to combat PFAS pollution, and a 20% of the state sales tax give, give, being given back to aid local governments and a number of election changes. Evers will announce the full budget at 7 p.m. tonight before being introduced to the legislator for review. Well, today's colder temperatures finally Ooh. feel like winter, <laughs> Jeff. Yeah, today was a day full of change, right? Rain early, followed by some snow. Temperatures near 40 early, followed by 20s out there now. And we're not going to stop there. In fact, look at these high temperatures from today. In the 40s across much of the area, but that was right around midnight early this morning. Uh, they've been dropping ever since, and currently we're hanging out in the 20s here in Rhinelander, also near 30 for Merrill, 27 for Phillips. You get the idea. The cold front has gone through. The cold air is flooding in on a gusty northwest wind, and that is going to give us feel-like temperatures down near zero tonight. We haven't done that for a while around here because the wind is a bit gusty. So we're having wind gusts near 20, but the heaviest wind is actually pulling off to the east of us now. The wind will begin to die down tonight and it'll be way less windy tomorrow across our neck of the woods. All right, there goes the big snow system right across parts of Minnesota yesterday, but not for us. For us, it was mostly rain, but that's not the only player in town. The next one is, uh oh, what's that? That's right there. That's our next storm. That will go to our south tomorrow and bring southern Wisconsin a pretty good snow. Our forecast then tonight, though, is mostly cloudy skies, a bit breezy out there and colder with low temperatures down near 14. Your full forecast is coming up, Jessica. More than 100 wanted fugitives are in custody after raids across Milwaukee this morning by U.S. Marshals. The Marshals arrested 114 people in Milwaukee alone during a 30-day operation called Operation North Star 2. Among those arrested, 11 were wanted for homicide. In addition, at least 45 firearms were seized along with cash and narcotics. Dozens of people who should not be on the streets were located, uh, and it's safe to assume that because of the arrests that were made, uh, there were crimes that did not uh, take place. Police also arrested a Milwaukee man who police say fired into a police detective's home in January, hitting his daughter in the leg. He was wanted on several charges, including recklessly endangering safety and sale or possession of a machine gun. 
The Wisconsin DNR has confirmed two new cases of chronic wasting disease in Marathon County. One case was found in a two-year-old hunter harvested doe during gun deer season in the town of Ringle. The second case was an adult hunt hunter harvested doe that was caught during the December antlerless deer season in the town of Elrin. With the new cases of CWD, the DNR has renewed a three-year baiting and feeding ban throughout Marathon County. The ban stops deer from congregating around a food source which can lead to the spread of CWD. A recent survey is identifying issues in ambulance services throughout Wisconsin. The Wisconsin Office of Rural Health Survey found many rural services are struggling with staffing shortages and financial challenges. Ambulance services have long relied on volunteers and Wisconsin towns are mandated to provide emergency services. The survey found 21% of services were meeting the bare minimum requirements for around-the-clock coverage in Wisconsin. Those ambulance services had a crew of two to three people for 24-7 hour coverage. The Wisconsin EMS Association wants more funding from the state to attract and retain people. Executive Director of the Wisconsin EMS Association says the state needs $500 million to help departments with staffing levels. Spectrum is looking for more field technicians to help bring more internet service to the Northwoods. Charter Spectrum is looking to add more than 100 field technicians across the state as part of a series of internet network build-out projects. In Rhinelander today, Spectrum held a hiring event where applicants could pop in, get interviewed, and possibly leave with a job offer. Paul Christopherson is a field operations manager at Spectrum and says this job is more than just a chance to help the community. We have an excellent training program that lasts approximately 12 weeks. So if you have, uh, you know, the interest in this field, there's a lot of opportunities for you to uh, expand your career and to uh, have a great job. Spectrum is hoping to install a new fiber optic network in the Northwoods as part of a $5 billion investment by the company to serve rural communities. The company's expansion will provide broadband access to approximately 1 million customer locations across 24 states in the coming years as estimated by the FCC. Christofferson says the new network will give a large boost to customers' internet service. Uh, the internet product is, is very robust. It's uh, it's an extremely good product for, for offering that access to the World Wide Web and to bringing those customers that are underserved into the new Internet world. Spectrum will have additional hiring events on March 1st, 16th, and 29th, and will make same-day offers for those openings. You can apply by visiting jobs.spectrum.com slash hiring event. We're less than one week away from the spring primary where Wisconsinites will choose who will move on to the Supreme Court race. As part of our Meet the Candidates series, we spoke to Judge Janet Prozadowitz. Newswatch 12's Kyle Bozorski joins us to explain why she hopes Wisconsinites will choose her as the next Supreme Court justice. Well, Jessica, it was yesterday when I sat down with the Milwaukee County judge to discuss her qualifications for the state's highest court. The judge is a Marquette University graduate, served as an associate district assistant district attorney rather for 25 years and is now looking to her fellow Wisconsinites to be elected to the court. The Wisconsin Supreme Court makes decisions that impact everybody in this state and impact everything that everybody cares about. Milwaukee County Judge Janet Proasewicz met with us over Zoom Tuesday night to discuss why she believes she's the right fit to be Wisconsin's next justice on the state's highest court. My judicial philosophy is really pretty simple. During our meeting, the judge and former assistant DA spoke about how she would consider each case that comes before the court. You weigh things independently. Um, everybody has a fair shot in your courtroom. There's no thumb on the scale of justice, no thumb whatsoever. You're independent, impartial, and work very, very hard to, you know, bring those values to the court. Protoseowitz is one of four candidates on the ballot for next week's primary election. Only two will go on to the general election in April. Protoseowitz says social issues like abortion access being a point of attention in this race is a good thing because it brings more eyes to what have traditionally been quiet elections. So I think it is really, I think it's a beautiful, wonderful thing that this race is getting as much attention as it's getting. Protasewicz says that when she looks at the other candidates in the race, including Dan Kelly and Jennifer Darrow, she believes they hide what they truly believe, 
On the contrary, she says she's different, wanting everyone to know what she believes so voters can be more informed. And you look at just how politicized it has become, and it shouldn't be. What I can tell you is that I will follow the law and uphold the Constitution. Every decision I will ever make will be rooted in the law. The primary is next Tuesday, where the top two candidates will move on to the general come April. Reporting here in the studio, Kyle Pzorski, NewsWatch 12. Thank you, Kyle. Coming up, health experts are seeing an alarming trend in kids. We'll explain how early children should be checked for high cholesterol. And racers are gearing up for an annual event this weekend. We'll have the details after weather with Jeff. This portion of News Watch 12 is brought to you by Slumberland. Pre-order the Samsung Galaxy S23 series at Cellcom and save up to $500. Both new and existing customers can save. Escape the ordinary and make the everyday epic with the new S23 series. Featuring a superior camera, powerful performance, and premium design keeping your life connected. So you can move past the mundane and embrace epic power. Visit Cellcom.com slash Galaxy for details. Right now is absolutely the best time of year to buy furniture. And Slumberland Furniture is the best place during our huge president sale. Come see our special offers throughout the store. Plus, special financing is available for convenient monthly payments. And did you know Slumberland offers custom fabrics and colors at no extra charge? Check out this gorgeous sectional, and it comes with a free ottoman. Plus, so much more during our huge president sale at Slumberland Furniture. For adventure, for climbing, for splashing, for towing, for premium, for capable. The GMC AT4 lineup, premium and capable. That's professional grade from GMC. Or get 2.9% APR and no monthly payments for 90 days on turbo high output engine Sierra light duty models. Lane's Farm and Fleet is hosting a hiring event for our new Rhinelander location coming this spring. We're hiring part-time and full-time for our store and automotive service center. Join us at the Pines Event Center in Rhinelander as we meet with candidates on Tuesday, February 14th through the 16th from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. One of Forbes' best mid-sized employers four years in a row. Blaine's Farm and Fleet offers competitive pay, great benefits, and paid holidays off. See you on the 14th through the 16th at the Pines Event Center. Well, today was fun after high temperatures near 40, been falling ever since. And now we're hanging out in the 20s with some ice on the windshield here in Rhinelander. 25 in Rhinelander, a northwest breeze around 8 or so, and the pressure's beginning to rise. Now as low pressure's pulling away. Still slightly above freezing for Wausau, 33 for you, with that northwest wind gusting near 25 right now. And around the horn, a far cry from yesterday, right? I stood here yesterday, we had 40s, even a couple of 50s out there. Not so much anymore, a big change changes on the way. Uh, cold air flooding in for tonight, tomorrow, and Friday, but then a rebound in temperatures getting in here most likely over the weekend as the really cold stuff is right there right now, and it's going to make a run for us tomorrow and for Friday. You see that? But then look what happens. A quick rebound here, uh, giving you Saturday and Sunday, where overall we'll have temperatures hanging out in the upper 30s or so over the weekend, followed by some more cooler temperatures, although it's going to be close for us through much, if not all, of next week. Notice this, though, toward the end of of this right right there that's the real cold stuff and there's wednesday of next week there are lots of signs now that this will make a move for the great lakes area next wednesday or thursday and once it gets here it's going to keep its strength and stick around for a while so we'll see it's still several days away uh, but a good chance for colder temperatures later on next week on paper it looks like this so 20 or so tomorrow meaning much of tomorrow spent in the teens 23 for friday 35 for saturday right back up on sunday and then kind of hanging out uh, below average Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday uh, before we could fall off a cliff next Wednesday into Thursday with much colder temperatures arriving then. All right, so out there now, lots of cloud cover still. The low pressure is pulling away into Canada. See you later. Behind it, still some light wind. And then our next system is hot on its heels, right? That's that one there. It's been advertised for days. This one, though, will take a southern track, most likely across southern Wisconsin tomorrow, bringing them some snow to places like Madison, Milwaukee, Sheboygan, Chicago. For us, though, maybe a couple flurries in there for us tomorrow. Uh, that's going to be it. We'll probably have a better chance of seeing lake effect snow 
snow tomorrow compared against synoptic snow, which will stay down here across southern Wisconsin, most likely south of Highway 10. And then a little bit of lake effect snow will kick in as this thing kind of pulls out of here tomorrow night. That lake effect snow could be a thing uh, into late Thursday and Friday with several inches of snow up that way. But for the rest of us, just a kind of a glancing blow with some snow, uh, maybe a dusting of snow throughout the day tomorrow. So our forecast ends tonight, though, is cloudy and breezy. A couple flurries can't be ruled out. Look for low temperatures, a change here, right, down near 14 with that northwest wind around 10 to 20. For tomorrow, it's Thursday already. Lots of clouds around tomorrow. A couple widely scattered snow flurries can't be ruled out. No accumulation unless you're going south, like way south tomorrow or way north tomorrow. Look for high temperatures near 20, meaning much of tomorrow in the teens. And then looking ahead, your seven-day forecast by Northwest Furniture Metro shows that lake effect snow north tomorrow, Friday 23, a bit warmer for the weekend with some sunshine throughout the afternoon. Jessica. More than 100 vehicles were stranded on Interstate 94 in Minnesota overnight after a blizzard caused hazardous conditions. Rescue efforts were underway throughout the night into Wednesday morning. The Minnesota State Patrol sergeant says some motorists have been stranded since 8 p.m. Tuesday. Crews are working to clear the roads and vehicles, but snow has drifted around stalled and parked vehicles. The governor deployed the National Guard to Clay County to help motorists and residents amidst the blizzard conditions. I-94 reopened at noon on Wednesday, but officials say drivers should continue to use caution because roads are still very icy. More than 6 million children in the U.S. are at risk of losing their health care coverage. A new report published today by Georgetown Center for Children and Families says that by this spring, as many as 6.7 million children could lose their coverage through Medicaid. They also say Children's Health Insurance Program, or CHIP, once states restart their reviews of recipients' eligibility. Medicaid enrollment ballooned during the pandemic thanks to early COVID-19 relief that barred states from disenrolling beneficiaries in exchange for higher federal matching funds. The lawmakers voted late last year to end that continuous enrollment provision on April 1st, freeing states to start releasing ineligible recipients. More than 42 million children were covered by Medicaid and CHIP as of August, up 17.5% from February 2020. Wisconsin health experts are seeing a rise in kids with high cholesterol. According to UW Health Kids, high cholesterol in kids can be genetic and it can increase the risk of heart disease. The CDC says one in five children have an abnormal cholesterol count. UW Health Kids Pediatrics says a simple cholesterol screening can prevent heart disease or death. The American Academy of Pediatrics recommends children get their first cholesterol screening between 9 and 11 years old, then get screened again between the ages of 17 and 21. It's really important to just get the child's cholesterol level checked because children with high cholesterol don't have any symptoms. They feel fine. They, they feel completely healthy. Dr. Peterson says changing lifestyle is hard, but easier to do at a young age. She recommends people who are diagnosed with high cholesterol focus on eating healthy and getting regular exercise. For the past 25 years, skiers and snowshoers have raced across the Lake Superior ice from one side of the Schwamigan Bay to the other. The 26th annual Book Across the Bay Ski and Snowshoe Race is happening in Ashland this Saturday. The event started in 1997, and this year it has a new course layout for the 11-kilometer race. Event organizers say there are some changes in the annual race. Historically, the first 25 chapters, we've started um, in one city and ended in another. Uh, and this year, for the first time, we're both starting and ending here in Ashland, right at uh, Crear Park and the, and the marina. The race will begin at 6 p.m. with four waves set to go in five-minute intervals. Racers will leave the Ashland side of Schwamigan Bay and travel across the Candlelit Trail to checkpoints spaced one kilometer apart. If racers want to ski a shorter race, they can choose to take the shortcut back to the starting line. Mary McFetridge explains what racers can expect once they cross that finish line. Tent will be down at the start line and finish line, of course, and they'll have music and chili and all sorts of things after the race. And so, you know, it's an all day event, all evening event, and we're just really excited that it's here. Event registration is online until the day of the race and available in person on race day. For more information about the event, you can visit BATB.org or check their social media pages. Coming up, curling nationals are going to be close to home for Wisconsinites this year. After the break, we'll tell you why Wausau will host.
Furniture and Appliance Mart's President's Day weekend blowout is here. Get the guaranteed lowest prices and holiday discounts starting at 30% and up to 60% off furniture and mattress door busters. This weekend only at Furniture and Appliance Mart. There are never enough hours in the day. I'm always making trade-offs. Sacrifices. But I'll keep going. Even when it feels like there's no way I can do it all. I won't give up. I'm doing this for me. And for them. We're doing this. Together. North Central Technical College's virtual college. Flexible learning. Because our time is precious. The 988 Suicide and Crisis Lifeline is here and ready to help. Anyone in Wisconsin can call, text, or chat to get connected to a trained 988 counselor. Trained counselors are here to support anyone experiencing a suicidal, mental health, or substance use crisis. You can also contact 988 if you're concerned about someone. 988 is confidential and free to all Wisconsin residents. 988 24-7. Call, text, chat. Here to support you. Furniture and Appliance Mart's President's Day Weekend Blowout Event is here. Saturday through Monday, find doorbuster appliances at big discounts, like this Frigidaire built-in dishwasher, now just $5.49, or this Amana side-by-side -side refrigerator, now just $4.99, at Furniture and Appliance Mart. Welcome back. Even though it's the seventh largest, it's still one for the record books. This giant sturgeon, weighing in at 177 pounds and nearly 80 inches long, was caught earlier this week in Lake Winnebago. James Gishkowski speared this massive female sturgeon. Gishkowski will join the heavy hitters club for this feat. In just a few short weeks, members of the Wausau Curling Club will be welcoming contenders from across the U.S. to compete at the club nationals at their state-of-the-art facility. It'll be the first time hosting this event. Newswatch 12's Matt Weaver visited the site following the announcement by the USA Curling Club and joins us in studio with more. Well, Jessica, from March 15th to 19th, the Wausau Curling Club will welcome 24 teams to throw the rock. Unlike other tournaments, teams cannot be stacked with the best of the best, and all people on the team must be from the club that they're representing. It's one of the biggest clubs, also one of the best-looking clubs. Next month, the Wausau Curling Club will be the home of the 2023 U.S. Club Nationals for curling. There's space for a lot of people. Um, also, the culture here is just phenomenal. So I'm hoping that the, the stands will be completely full and get to show, uh, show this club off to people who maybe haven't seen it as many times. The teams registered come from all across the country. This will put us on the curling map in the United States. President Kim Susans, along with club members like Bobby Splinter are happy to welcome 22 teams to Wausau. This is a great opportunity for us to compete uh, together against uh, other really competitive curlers and kind of show that Wausau isn't only a social curling club, but it's also a uh, we're, we're rich in, uh, in competitiveness as well. By hosting, their club also gets an automatic berth into both the men's and women's draw. Even though other clubs have gone through regional showdowns to make it here, that doesn't scare Lisa Landon. They've had quite a, a bit of competition already at the higher level, and we're just going to kind of come in on our own. <laughs> They're looking forward to opening their doors to both contenders and spectators. Our hope is that in the future, some of the people from some of these other clubs who participated in this national event will come back to curl with us at one of our home bond spiels. We get a lot of people that are always interested. They see it on TV. They'll see it, and we love to get more people into our club, and we'll enjoy having more people come. In Wausau, Matt Weaver, Newswatch 12. This portion of News Watch 12 is brought to you by Slumberland. 
Wasaharn's Furniture specializes in Wisconsin-made furniture. Wolfcraft made in Marshfield. Rustonic two-sided mattresses made in Two Rivers. Bestcraft made in Kakana. So when you spend your money at Wasaharn's Furniture, it stays right here in Wisconsin. Madison liberals are trying to take over the Wisconsin Supreme Court. That's why we need to elect conservative justice Dan Kelly. Dan Kelly has a proven record of protecting our freedoms and cast the deciding vote to end the COVID lockdowns of our schools and businesses. Sheriffs across Wisconsin have endorsed Dan Kelly because he has a record of enforcing the law. On February 21st, vote conservative justice Dan Kelly for Wisconsin Supreme Court. Fair Courts America paid for and is responsible for the content of this advertising. You've got this. Ten days, two kids, and the open road. Tourist traps, set. Souvenir allowances, dispersed. Juice boxes, abundant. You've got this. Just like Associated Banks got you with access to over 30,000 surcharge-free ATMs. So when must-see attractions become must-pay-with-cash adventures, we've got you. Mom, why is the front door open? You've got this with Associated Bank. Some numbers simply have more meaning than others. After an accident, there's one critical number. The number that helps you get your life back by factoring in your needs for today and tomorrow. That's where Habish Habish and Rotier's numbers really add up. With over 90 years of client successes and 13 offices to help you wherever you are. Trust Habish Personal Injury Attorneys to get the number that's right for you. Call now. Cleaning is the worst. Seriously, there's got to be a better way. So we gave Swiffer a shot. If we don't love it, we get our money back. Spoiler alert, love it. Sweeper's heavy-duty dry cloths grab dust and hair and lock it away. Better than my broom that can push it around. It even gets into hard-to-clean grooves and grout lines. Cool. And Swiffer Duster gets in all those hard-to-reach places, trapping three times more dust. <laughs> yeah, switching a Swiffer, totally worth it. Love it or your money back. I'm Tammy Harn, owner of Wassa Harn's Furniture. When you buy a one-sided mattress, aren't you really buying half of a mattress? If you want a flippable two-sided mattress made by Rustonic, shop local at Wassa Harn's Furniture, located one half mile from Fleet Farm in Wassa. All right, Jessica, our thoughts are with the family of John, Terry John McCloskey. He worked here back uh, about 15, 20 years ago and did weather for a while, and he passed away recently. And, of course, we're thinking of him and his family right now. Uh, I hear, I was not here, but I hear he was a great guy uh, with a great life. So uh, Definitely sending some prayers for his family. Absolutely. All right, for us, though, weather-wise, things changed today, didn't they? Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit different out there. Definitely different. Compared against 24 hours ago. Uh, yeah, it's 25 currently, so whatever is wet is re freezing out there now and that's going to lead to several slippery spots tonight into tomorrow well you know we're used to that lots of clouds today and we'll keep those clouds around tomorrow as well as a really large storm